start the action with this contest set for five rounds in the middleweight division. This is BYB 23 Brawl at the Pines 2. The action being brought to you by Buy So Clothing, Galloway Group, GC3, and Miami Lux Detail Supply are judges. Scoring the action are Eliseo Rodriguez, Vicente Rodriguez, and Manuel Marquez Jr. In charge of the Trigon referee, Bobby Wombacker. Introducing first, the fighter standing in the blue corner. He enters wearing black with red trim on the scale. He registered an official 155 and one quarter pounds. Last time out, he had an outstanding performance and tonight, this precise technical boxer returns to the mighty Trigon from Clearwater, Florida. The Florida Gremlin, Henry Williams. His opposition in the red corner, wearing solid white on the scale. He registered an official 159 and one half pounds. Tonight, this mild mannered warrior enters the Trigon, looking to remain undefeated as a professional. Let's go, baby. Representing Elmira, New York. Baby face, Matt Phillips. All right, gentlemen, we've been through the rules in the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up if you want. Bobby Wambacher, our referee. Right over here. Henry Williams, right here me, Matt. Matt Phillips, to get things started. But here we go. Henry Williams, black and red trunks. Matt Phillips, the white with the white trim. And quickly, power punches to the body coming from Henry Williams. And Williams learned something in that Turner fight, too. He knows it's just not fast. <laughs> that Turner fight, he took on that week's notice, Paul. He only lasted 37 seconds. For the last fight, he went the distance and earned a huge victory over Jimmy Sandlin. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? Again, I, I feel like he starts a lot faster since that turn of fight. Stop, guys, stop. He's in better shape for t being able to have more preparation. Stop. But also, I think he, he learned something. You get off to a quick start at some of these bare knuckle fights, and sometimes you can overwhelm opponents if they're not ready for it. Clearly, Phillips is ready for it, and we got to fight. Phillips, 3-0 in his bare knuckle career, 4-0 in professional K-1 kickboxing five and one in amateur mma so he doesn't lose very often henry williams wants to change that tonight they're trying to bring the pressure to williams consistently as williams has gotten off some good shots and good some good uh, combinations but I think phillips is trying to put that mental pressure and keep walking him down williams is crafty though i'll tell you nice little feints sharp jab back at middleweight against jimmy sandlin back at middleweight here tonight He brought some blood already inside the mouth of Phillips and, of course, a mouse on the left cheek. Which means we are officially underway. Oh, yeah. BYB. You got that right. Blood on the, between the eyes of, uh, of Williams as well. Fight scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Good work in the corner. Henry Williams with his back on the ropes. Oh, good right Babyface got a right hand in there. Yeah, neither guy's given an inch, man. You know, they've both landed some good shots. And like I said, sometimes in these bare knuckle fights, you think you're tough, but then you get in there, you feel that bone to bone contact and see guys getting overwhelmed. But these two guys have landed and they are comfortable being in the fight. So this, these are the kind of guys that are it's more difficult to score knockouts over once they're in it and once they're uh, warmed into the fight, which now they, they clearly are. And you can see they both respect each other's skill set because there's a lot of technical boxing taking place here in this first round. Yeah, it seems like, oh, good combination of the counter there by Williams. It seems like Williams tried to see what Phillips had by starting fast and see if he could survive it. And once he saw up, guys. Phillips, you know, could take it and also fire back, Fight. he said, okay, all right, I got to get back on my technical stuff. And of course, we talked about Phillips being a technical boxer and then, you know, in, when he broke his right hand and how his left hand, educated left hand, won him that fight. So, you know, clearly both guys have good technique. Good double jab right hand there by Williams. Seems he's got some more fluid jab. I think it's been the difference in the, in the ground. Big shots late from Phillips. No throwing. 
up. Really good start for our night here in South Florida. On your lip. We'll cut under the eye again. See, the blood st starts out early. It's on the counter as Phillips tried to get started, and Williams came back in a, in counter, in a co combination counter. Come up, come up over top of it. Henry Williams, born and raised in Clearwater, Florida. Matt Phillips said he knows he's a tough season veteran when he talked of his opponent, a slick boxer, and we're in his backyard. Phillips wants to ruin the show, though. It's a pretty rough cut. Drop on the lip of Phillips. Yeah, outside. Both with cuts under the eye. Round oh. number two. Black Step. and red trunks for right Henry Williams looking for his second Ready? BYB Fight. win. Matt Phillips, white with the white trim. Oh, good. good start with the triple left hand, Pauly. Dang, he went downstairs with it out and left shot. Body head. <laughs> Man, you can hear the contact right in front of our broadcast position. You can turn just here. Stop, guys. Like Break. Step back. Fight. Williams will switch his stance. Comes out orthodox. He has stayed in that orthodox stance thus far. Yeah, that left hand has been more educated. I think, it's, again, it's been the difference in the fight. He, he has good variation to it. He goes upstairs and downstairs with it. Stop, Phillips guys. Does try to jab his hands, well. right? It's just not fight. as smooth. And, and the real key, the real growth in the last fight, as I talked about earlier, was the utilization of the jab. And it's something that Henry Williams worked on. It's something that Henry Williams was proud of, and he's trying to set it up again here. And create different angles. Let go the ropes. Yeah. You saw Williams Stop. going now, jabbing, going to his right. Grab those ropes. And set up that little Fight. short right uppercut. Landed a nice shot there on Phillips. Some great hand positioning on Williams. Going in both directions. Mixing, that, mixing those shots. Creative shot selection. Part of Williams, and it always keeps starting with the educated jab. And he switches into hooks at times, and both to the body and to the head, Goldie. First two bare knuckle wins for Williams, Paulie, team in down. Two minutes and 21 seconds. Counter Four, right there over the top of five, six, seven, eight. You want to continue? Oh, yeah. Walk over here. That's the thing, man. Right. I think, I think Fight. if anything, Phillips is going to need something over the top of, of the Williams jab. Yes. Because Williams is always getting too confident with that left hand. That jab is starting to bother Phillips more and more. And there's a huge mouse under the right eye of Matt Phillips, and that's that jab of Henry yeah. Williams. Yep. Great position right here. Williams really, really, you can see Stop, the guys. Williams is Stop. Man. He has a real understanding and cognizant of Fight. where he's at in the trigon at all times, the position he's got to put his feet, when he's got to pivot, when he's got to step. Really impressive. Again, putting his hands together nicely here in round number two. Not for lack of trying from Phillips, but he is swelling up bad now, man. That right, that right, that right eye, man, is swollen from underneath. You start to watch his fingers. Going damage. Yep. Dirty boxing. Phillips stays away from the clinch, though. Good right hand connects for Matt Phillips. Yeah, he's tough, man. He's sturdy. He's gonna stay in there. Well, you know, you talk about the experience Phillips has, boy. Yep. So that, that, when a guy has that kind of experience. He's comfortable in all kinds of fights. He knows how to take a punch or two. He's to, you know, having a decent drive for second Stop. round. See the beginning of the round. Oh. Little right hook on the inside. Boom. Nice little counter there as well. That was the one that caused it on there. Very sharp from Williams. Great look at the handiwork of Henry Williams by our production team as we get things started from the Charles F. Dodge City Center in the Pines here in South Florida. Henry Williams, Muhammad Ali, Larry Holmes, Sugar Shane Mosley, 
some of his greatest influences. Time. He's also a huge Boots Ennis fan. As we continue, and the doctor will take a look at the damage under the eye of Matt Phillips. You start to wonder if there's, you know, all okay. the damage there. And as you can tell, Phillips did not want the doctor to stop the fight. But fighter safety is always paramount inside okay. combat sports, That's especially here at BYB. And Phillips, the vision might have been a bit impaired. And with that, keep him safe. And Henry Williams gets the victory, okay. his second straight inside the tri-bar. He said The doctor saying not a good idea. Bobby Wambacher says it's over, and Henry Williams able to celebrate. The Florida Gremlin with the win. Henry, good job, gentlemen. He's right over there. With the official decision, here is Lupe. Ladies and gentlemen, after consulting with the ringside physician, referee Bobby Wombacker, calls a halt to this contest with an official time of 2 minutes 59 seconds of round number 2, declaring the winner by way of technical knockout, the Florida Gremlin, Henry!